Hello, this is Lori Michelle, the Mashiach, with today's message. Hashem, God, is the only reason I believe in redemption. He's the only reason. And I don't know if that's an odd statement to make or an odd message for you, because lots of people believe in redemption, world redemption, people who study Torah and Torah prophecy. And they scream it all the time and they sing about it. I believe in the coming of Mashiach and world redemption. La, 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 la. And I had trouble with it. I was raised on ham and cheese and veal parmesan and shrimp, secular. But I always believed in God. And then years later, 9-11 happened and boy, that knocked my socks off. And I started reaching and learning, and I started talking to religious Jews, Chabad. And the Rebetzin, years ago, told me about this concept of redemption. I had never heard of it before. I didn't even know there was going to be a Mashiach. Really, I thought Charlton Heston was it. You know, really, Ten Commandments? What's the 613? I had no idea. So I met with the Rebetzin and she told me that the dead are going to come back to life. They're going to roll through the ground or something and pop up, sort of like Michael Jackson's thriller. And I thought, ooh, <laughs> that sounds creepy, but I would love to see my dad again. I said to her, I said, do you really believe in this? And she said, of course I do. And I said, I really wish I could believe in this. This sounds so fantastic. The dead are going to return. I'll be reunited with the people I love right here on the planet Earth. The Christians have a few things wrong. We're not going to float and eat pizza in space. We're going to be right here. We're not going to grow old. We're not going to get sick. We're not going to die. We're not going to have terror or war. That's what she told me. You really believe in that? And she said, I 100% believe in that. I have no doubt. And I said, I wish I could believe. And here I am, fast forward many years later, I'm the Mashiach. Who knew? <laughs> oh, I know. You don't believe me. Some of you do. I love you. I know who believes me. Anyway, he told me how it's going to happen. It's in the book. The rolling through the ground thing, there's a little merit to that, believe it or not. He showed it to me. Where the dead are gonna return, how, what it looks like. He showed me what it's gonna look like. You won't be able to see that part of it, but you'll see them return. That's what he says. So I believe, but I still don't know. I don't know that prophecy is going to happen until it's happening. It's in front of my face and it is a fact. It's here. Until it happens, it's a belief. And the only reason I believe in it is because of Hashem. He shows it to me inside. He shows me movies. He tells me every day. And then I wake up in the morning and I've got to face another ugly day in this hellhole called planet Earth. It's very unnerving. Do you realize how bad things are right now? No, that's a message for another day. It's pretty bad. And when you're like me, you see it. It's awful here. It's a torture test. I feel like the most tortured soul in all the world. But inside, I feel like the most loved soul in the universe, a paradox. And many days I wake up and I say to him, get me out of here. It isn't happening. Nuclear Holocaust, we're going to be dust. I don't want to see it happen, Hashem. If you love me, you'll get me out of here. You know what he says? You're not going anywhere. This world's going to get redeemed. They're going to wake up and the glory of God is going to be seen through all of you. 
He said, yes, it is. And we're sort of like a comedy routine. Every day I say to him, it's going to blow. And he says, no, Lori, it's going to be glorious. You're going to win. He just said it. You won. What did I win? It's horrible here, people. And hardly anyone's listening to me. A half a dozen. He said many more than that. God bless you if you're listening. And if I give you faith and belief that redemption will really happen, good. I'm passing it on. He's giving me the faith that redemption will happen, belief, and I'm giving it to you. He says it will happen, and he has faith in you. I don't. I have faith in a handful of you, and that gets me inspired to think, if there's a handful of you, well, then maybe there could be a million of you. And if there could be a million of you, well, then maybe there could be billions of you working for world redemption, because that's how it's going to happen, people. Mashiach isn't just going to show up on the donkey and boop, 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 boop. It's all better now. Do you really believe that? And he just said that's not true. Redemption depends on you. So right now, you're not showing me a lot. A few of you are showing me some things. But for us to have redemption, it depends on you. So it's a conundrum. I look at you, I look at the world and I say, no way. And every day, many times a day and all night, he infuses me with faith and courage to take on another day and post another one of these videos. So world redemption, you're gonna do it. He said so, God bless you get to work. You need to know what I know. That's all I want. I want to give it away. Give you Hashem, the king of the universe, and give you the information you need so we can have a party. God bless you. Peace on earth in this generation. He said so.